Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to boot your computer in safe mode on Windows 11. Safe mode is a feature that only loads the basic features and generic drivers to troubleshoot and fix software and hardware related problems which otherwise you will not be able to do when Windows is actually running in normal mode. There are different ways to do this, so let's just dive into these steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, for the uh, first method, we're going to use the start menu. And to do this, open start and then click and hold the shift key, then click the power button and click the restart option. Now, from the uh, Windows recovery settings, we need to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then you need to click on Startup Settings, and then click the Restart button. Now, from this page, you have three different options to boot your computer into safe mode. You can use the regular mode with networking or command prompt. I usually like to use the option number five, which is to enable safe mode with networking. And now you just need to sign in to your account to access Windows 11 and safe mode. Now, at this point, the computer is only loading the basic configuration. So there are many things you can do, but it at least allows you to get to the desktop and perform different tasks. Now, if you want to exit from safe mode, just open the start menu and select the restart option from the power menu. And just like that, we're back into the regular mode. Now we're going to open safe mode but through the settings app. And to do that, open start and look for settings. And then go to system and open the recovery page. Click the restart now button for the advanced startup setting. Now from the uh, Windows recovery settings, click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced options, and then click on startup settings, and then click the restart button. Now from this page, choose the way that you want to enable safe mode on Windows 11. And I do think that using networking is the best option, but if that doesn't work, you can pick just the regular mode or use the command prompt option. So just press five or F5 on the keyboard. From the sign in screen, just pick the account and log in with your pin or password. And now we're running Windows 11 in safe mode. Now, if you want to exit from this mode, just restart the computer. Now, if you can get to the desktop and you are in the lock screen, you can open this. And from the sign in screen, you can click the power button, then click and hold the shift button and click on restart. This will have the same effect than trying to open safe mode through the start menu. Now, from the uh, Windows recovery settings, we need to go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then you need to click on startup settings and then click the restart button. Now, from this page, you have three different options to boot your computer into safe mode. You can use the regular mode with networking or command prompt. I usually like to use the option number five, which is to enable safe mode with networking. And now you just need to sign in to your account to access Windows 11 and safe mode. Now, at this point, the computer is only loading the basic configuration. So there are many things you can do, but it at least allows you to get to the desktop and perform different tasks. Now, if you want to exit from safe mode, just open the start menu and select the restart option from the power menu. Now you can also boot your computer into safe mode using command prompt. And to do this, open the command prompt or the terminal. In my case, select the terminal. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to right click on it and then select the ransom history option. Then in here, we're going to now in command prompt, we're going to use this command and then press enter. Now we're going to restart the computer. And then the computer will boot straight into the Windows Boot Manager you need to select the operating system, which in this case, we only have one. So that's Windows 11. And then you have to press the F8 key to continue to put your computer into safe mode. And from the startup settings page, I'm just going to press five. Now sign in. And if you're using the command prompt option, 
one thing to remember is that if you don't change back the boot manager setting, the computer will always boot into that menu. And to disable that, to boot straight into the actual operating system, just open start and look for command prompt. Don't use the terminal because it's not going to run. Just look for command prompt, right click on it and select the run as administrator option. Then we're just going to type this command and then press enter. Now we can restart the computer and it will start normally. Now, another way to access safe mode on Windows 11 is to use the system configuration or the famous msconfig. And to do that, open start and look for msconfig and open the app. Then go to boot, check safe mode and select the minimal option. Click apply, click OK, and then click the restart button. In this case, I'm just going to restart manually. If you use the msconfig option, they will actually boot straight into the safe mode environment. Then you just need to log in. And if you don't change the settings, the computer will always boot into safe mode. If you want to exit, what you need to do is just to go to start and look for msconfig and open the system configuration app. Then go to the boot tab and clear the safe mode option. Click apply. Click OK, and now the computer will restart into the regular mode. Just going to restart manually. Now, the last method that I want to show you is to boot your computer into safe mode when you can load Windows properly. And to do that involves turning on the computer. And as soon as you see the Windows logo, Turn off the computer by pressing and holding the power button and do that about two or three times until the computer automatically goes into the repair mode. And then you're going to land into this page. And from here, we're going to click the advanced options button. And then we're going to go to troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings. And from here, we're just going to click the restart button. Now on the startup settings page, just choose the safe mode that you want to use. In my case, I'm just going to press five. And now the computer is going to start into safe mode. Now select the account and log in. And from here, you can troubleshoot your computer. And once you're done, you can simply restart to go into the normal mode. And that's it. Those are virtually all the different ways that you can use to boot your computer into safe mode. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.